Hi, this is Simon Obstel, and this is just a very quick video to walk you through the free title effect template that I'm sharing with you that's based on my pixel sorted glitch tutorial. So let's take a look. So here we are in Final Cut. I've got this background shot, a street scene, and I'm going to come to my titles browser, TKY, which is the category I've made for this. And I'm going to grab pixel sorted glitch and I'm going to drag it onto my clip. Just going to shorten it down like that. And then let's have a look at how it's playing. So animates on, animates off. Lots happening there. So let's have a look at some of the options here. You can see that we've got color controls for the text and for the three glitch elements. And I'm just going to quickly go through and pick some colors off my scene here. So there you go, very roughly. We've now added some color into it. So what we can also do is affect the opacity of those glitch elements. So we can fade them out completely, or we can have just a little bit of them. Let's leave it around 70% maybe. So we can also adjust their scale. So as we saw, there are A, B, C glitches, and they've each got a scale slider. So that's A is the bottom one there, and B is this one here, and C is the one that comes out of the top. And we can also interestingly adjust the width of these glitches, or these glitch streaks, I should say. So we can reduce that right down until we're almost sort of just getting individual pixels like that. Or we can go way up like that and we get another very different sort of look, which I actually quite like as well. So what we can also do is adjust the speed. We can actually turn the speed right down so we have no animation at all. Or we can go very fast indeed. And they'll dance around a lot. So plenty of control over how the how those glitches work. So then we've got some text controls. And you can see the text has got this sort of outline effect, which we can turn on and off to taste. And we can also adjust the width of it. Now, this is not a true outline. It's been created using the neon filter in a technique that I particularly like. So it's kind of just going inside and it's quite rounded, as you'll see. But uh, you, you'll probably want to adjust that depending on the scale of your text. Of course, you can reduce it way down if you want just a really fine outline. What we can also do is affect this noise element here. So we can either just kind of completely take it out if we want, or we can add even more. What we can also do here is use this text mask. So you can see we're sort of fading off the bottom of the text like that, and we can choose not to do it at all or to have it 100%. And we can also adjust the offset of that mask. So you can see we can actually move it either to the top or the bottom. And where this is going to be particularly useful is if we come in and edit our text. So we do urban or whatever. And then we scale it down. And then we move it over on X, maybe over to here. And then if we move it down on Y, you'll see that the mask no, no longer uh, operates in quite the same way. So let's come back here. You can see my point about the outline width that you'll probably want to adjust that depending on the scale as well. But as I say, let's just adjust that mask offset so it fits with our new positioning. Then we've got a set of controls for the animation. So you'll notice that we've got this sort of scramble in effect and we can turn that on and off using the character offset button. So if we do that, we just simply get the fade in and fade out like that rather than the scramble. And we can turn off the fade in and the fade out independently. So if we don't want a fade in, just turn off that switch similarly with the fade out. What we've also got is control over these scratches you can see in the background. So we can turn those off completely or we can just sort of fade them back till they're more subtle like that. They are quite a nice effect, I think. And we can also just change the scratch seed to affect the distribution of those scratches. So inevitably, when I'd finished that demo, I realized that there was something that I really wanted to be able to offer you as well. And that's to give you the text outline and the text face color separately. So I went back and did that. And you're going to pick these colors, but you can see that you can now affect those colors independently. So lots of controls there. Quite a fun effect, I think. And I hope you have fun using it. So I'll put a link to this in the description and you will need to request access. So please bear with me if I don't respond immediately. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.